Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to build a painted brick fireplace with light brick for today's Lego brick tutorial. For the base of our painted brick fireplace, take an 8x8 plate. You can use any size you wish. This is just for demonstration purposes. In the top center, a 2x4 plate, followed by a 2x6 plate right in that area. Then I'm going to proceed on with a pair of two by four plates and a set of one by eight flat tiles. This is going to simulate hard wood. We're going to go three studs down from the top and set down a number one one by two rounded plate and on both sides a set of one by one flat tiles. And right below those a pair of one by two jumper plates. Now let's set down a set of hollow studs right on top of the number one one by two plate and on the jumper plates a pair of one by one plates with top holder. Right in those areas where the holders are facing this way. Take a three stud long stick and another one by one plate with holder. Let's place this one right in the middle and I'm going to set this right in between the other plates with holders. This is going to simulate a log. Now let's take a pair of transparent orange feathers. We're going to place these inside the studs in the number one one by two plate. That's why we use the number one plate. So we can push these all the way down in there. You're going to have to wiggle these in a bit making sure I got those in there correctly. Sometimes you're really going to have to fight the flames in. <laughs> so we're going to use these as flames. Let's see if we can get this one in here. And I'm just going to turn them in such a way. This is probably the hardest part of the whole job here. But we're going to turn these in such a way where they're like this, where they're folded against each other. Just really make sure those are pressed down firm. Now, let's take a light brick that works. <laughs> I'm going to set this right behind the flames. So when we press the button, the flames light up. Now, let's set down a set of one by one bricks, followed by four one by two profile bricks with single groove. I'm going to have the brick brick facing outwards. So I'm going to place these around our light brick. And in these two areas right here, a set of one by one plates. Now I want to finish up the back portion where the light brick is at. So I'm just going to take a pair of one by four by two thirds plate with bow. We're just going to cover that up. Finish that off. And we're going to level off this area here with a set of one by four plates. Set these right on top of the one by one plates and the light brick. And we're going to wrap around both sides of the firebox with a set of one by two profile bricks with single groove. For the hearth, we're going to place four one by two jumper plates. Now the reason why I'm using jumper plates is I got this little groove down here that's supposed to simulate brick. So I'm going to set these down like so, and I'm going to face these off with a set of 1x2 flat tiles. Now you may have to try to center these in a bit, but the whole goal of this is, is to give the front of the hearth a brick look. Let's begin the upper portion of our firebox and chimney, starting with a pair of one by one plates, place these on top of one another. I want to make two of these. I'm going to set these on both sides of our opening. Then take three one by two profile bricks with single groove. We're going to place these right behind our one by one plates. Next, take a pair of one by two by two corner plates. We're going to set these in such a way to where the 1x2 portion is hanging right above our flames. Now let's take four more 1x2 
profile bricks with single groove. We're going to place these in the back and in the center. And we're going to place two more along the sides. Now in these two areas right here, a set of one by one bricks. This is going to for start forming up the chimney. Let's rotate our fireplace around. We'll look at the back side. We're going to take five more one by two profile bricks with single groove. We're going to place these two back here and the other three right in this area. Now I want to keep the brick bricks facing us. You can do it any way you wish. Then I'm going to proceed on placing a set of one by one bricks in this area. Make sure these are straight. Followed by two more one by two profile bricks with single groove. And right here on the top, three more one by two profile bricks with single groove. And I want to put a one by four flat tile right in this area to lock this together. And for these two corners right here, a set of one by two by two slopes. Take a one by four brick with four studs. I'm gonna take a set of one by two profile bricks with single groove. I'm gonna place them on the bottom portion. Now on the top, let's set down a pair of one by two by one and two thirds bricks with four studs. Then I wanna crown off here with a one by four plate and a one by two flat tile right on the top. Now down here, I'm gonna lock this joint together with a one by two plate. Let's face off these studs with a piece of artwork. So I'm gonna use a piece from Piet Mondrian, if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. He was the one that Lego kind of adopted the colors from. So I decided to use one of his pieces of artwork above our fireplace. Now you could put anything on there you wish. I just thought this would be rather cool, just as a modern piece of art. Now let's take this portion with our artwork. We're gonna set it right on top of the one by two by two corner plates, or the one by two plate locks right in between. For the sides of our fireplace, take seven one by two profile bricks with single groove. We're gonna place these on top of one another. Now what these are gonna be are the side bricks for our fireplace. Let's make two of these. Let's set our brick columns on both sides of our fireplace opening. And to lock everything together, a set of two by three flat tiles. Now, I did leave these portions here open, so if you want to, you can attach a wall that'll fit right up in between here. You just need to have a six stud opening, and the wall is seven bricks high. And this concludes the tutorial for our painted brick fireplace with light brick.